Judge Von Levy Court is now in session. Judge, this is the case of the Hudson's. Thank you. Okay. You all may be seated. Mr. Roberts, you filed this case before yes. the court? Yes, ma'am. What's going on? Well, um, I still pay um, child support because our daughter goes to school. It's better for her to go to school in her area as opposed to mine. Our schools are terrible. We don't really do well over there, and her school is, is, is great over there. Um, but I, I wanted kind of a, a reduction. Wait a minute. When you because say reduction, you're paying child support mm -hmm. to her. Yes. Who does the child live with? Me. But she wait, goes to wait school a minute, with her. Wait, it's, it's not a... Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Yes, all, you all know that's not how this works, right? What? The person who the child lives with does not pay child support. The person who the child does not live with pays child support. Well, ma'am, originally we had an agreement with the court. And it's your honor um, or judge. I'm sorry, your honor. Oh, go ahead. My bad. Um, we originally had agreement, but she goes to night school. So, um, and so, so my, our daughter lives with me. Okay, but that's, she that's goes to cute her school. that you guys have an agreement. Yes, ma'am. But the person that the child lives with does not pay child support. You understand that, right, ma'am? Yes, but I'm the one that pays for her schooling. How much is her schooling? It's six hundred a month. Six hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. But the child lives with him. She has needs outside of school. You understand that, right? Yes, I understand. So, the child is living with you. Yes. You're paying for her day-to-day -day expenses. Absolutely. You're paying for her extracurricular activities. I'm assuming, right? Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. What are you paying for besides school? Um, I only pay for school and the food that she eats on a day-to-day -day basis. You put food in his house? Mm-hmm. Why, why don't y'all just get back together? Um, no, that's not a good idea. That doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. She's kind of volatile. Um, so us, we, we like each other outside of a relationship, but okay. in a relationship, it's kind of volatile, so. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, guys, that's not how this works, okay? Yes, ma'am. You should not be paying child support to her mm -hmm. and the child lives with you. Are you giving him the money back? No. What are you doing with the money? I spend it on her schooling. And you spend it on what? Using it for to pay for her schooling. To pay for her school, but she mm -hmm. does not live with you. You know what? How much money you make a year? I make 50000 a year. Wait, hold up. Did I say something wrong? I didn't what, know you had a what, job. What do you mean, hold up? I didn't know she had a job. Wait a minute. You didn't tell him you worked. I just started working. See, you, you, you're coming in here playing these games. <sighs> Look, we're not here to play games, okay? He should have known that you were working. And you should not be taking money away from him and you have a job and you're making how much? I'm making $50,000 $50, a year. $50,000 a year? You know what? You think it's a game. In all honesty, Judge, I In just all started honesty, working. You think it's a game. That's, that's not cute. And this is not funny. This is a serious matter. This man is paying child support for a child who lives with him. If he has to pay extra money for his expenses and everything. You understand that? So you have a two-bedroom home or yes, apartment? Yes, ma'am. He has to get an extra bedroom. That's extra money that he could be saving. Do you understand that? I understand. Electricity be all the other expenses. They're increasing. While you're sitting on... $50,000 a year. <laughs> okay. So, based on the calculation I have here, have your gross at $4,166.67. Brings your net down to $3,266.81. How many children do you have, ma'am? Just one. Just one? Okay. That's going to be based on 20%. So, child support is $653.37. You can close your mouth, it's okay. You're getting 600 right now from him and you make $50,000 a year. Who pays health insurance for this child? I do. How much is health insurance? 150. 150, how often are you paid? Is I get paid um, every two weeks, ma'am. Okay, so for the child only it's $150? Yes, ma'am. You do understand that a part of the child support obligation is to pay health insurance. The two of you understand that, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So you, ma'am, will be paying $653 and 37 cents plus 
$150 as medical reimbursement for the child, which brings your monthly obligation to $803.37. And again, you can close your mouth because that's what it's going to be. Thank you. You're Any honest. other questions? Anything else pertaining to the child? Did the, we're not here to play games, ma'am. You need to do what's right by him as well as by your child. Everybody clear? Yes, ma'am. If yes. nothing further, you all are dismissed. Hi guys, it's Vonda Bailey, and I'm coming to you as the lawyer this time. We have arrived at the educational portion of our show. I just wanted to go over what this segment will cover and how the different scenarios interact with child support under Texas law. I'm court ordered to pay child support, but the child lives with me. Am I still obligated to pay child support? Well, under Texas law, it depends. In this particular case, he did not have to continue paying child support because the child lived with him primarily and was with him most of the time. In this case, mom was also ordered to pay child support to dad based on the amount of money that she received every, every year, every month, you know, once it breaks down. Well, not in all cases will you always see a situation where that particular child support amount happens, but you have to stay tuned to see the twist that I put on. Wait a minute, did you all catch that the daycare expense for the child was $600 a month and her child support obligation is $653 a month? That's not that big of a difference, guys. So the point is to show you that although you may be court ordered to pay a certain amount in child support, it may not be a lot of difference in helping that other parent who has the primary responsibility of taking care of that child on a daily basis. Her child support obligation a month is only $800 because she has to reimburse for health insurance, something that he already pays for monthly. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about these different numbers that you're hearing about, like, oh my God, that's so high, or that's not enough. You have to consider what they're already paying for and some of the things that they're already doing. And stay tuned. Do you know of anyone who's experienced a similar situation? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure you comment below. You never know, their story may end up as a scenario on our show. After all, these kids aren't raised on air alone. Support Court with Judge Vonda B.